Why hello there. Welcome to my sample series. This is why I showcase games running on enhanced or next generation consoles in 4K and or HDR. This week, it's been a few weeks because of sickness and other things, uh, but I am doing Sonic Frontiers on the Xbox Series X. This is a game I just did a full playthrough of, uh, finishing it last week, at the time of this recording anyway. And yeah, this is a pretty interesting game. Um, visually, I think it looks quite good for the most part, but um, it's a game that I had some ups and downs over the course of playing it, and I'm still in the process of writing my 2022 year in gaming blog post, which hopefully I'll be able to finish it at some point. But yeah, I'm going to showcase some of this game, running in its 60 FPS mode, hopefully. And yeah, I'm just going to start a new game here. I'm just going to go straight for easy. Start by doing the opening cutscenes. I am recording this in 4K at 60 FPS. Uh, but in 60 FPS mode, it's not actually being rendered in 4K. It's more like 1800p, maybe a little more. Got Robotnik here approaching a giant chair. Maybe. Oh, okay. Now I understand what's going on here. Uploading AI program now. <laughs> It's all coming online. The ancient secrets will be mine. Status report. Answer me! Simulations complete. Executing protective initiative. What? No! No! This is how Robotnik gets trapped in cyberspace. I... He's still Robotnik to me. I never liked the Eggman name. I always prefer the U.S. name of Robotnik. Amy, Tails, and Sonic here. No Knuckles, though. How exciting! You tracked the Chaos Emeralds here, right? Let's find out what drew them here. Always about the Chaos Emeralds. Look at that. Screen cap that just in case. I think I may have actually done that already. But yeah, this game has some um, very annoying difficulty spikes. Uh, if you're interested in playing this game at all, I strongly recommend playing it in easy. Because there are some really bad aspects about this game with some of the story missions, except especially in the third world, where it's just artificially difficult. Like having to repeat missions over and over again. It's not good game design. But. These missions right here are very much um, in line with what you'd expect from uh, Sonic Generations. Yeah, I know I missed that red coin, but that red star ring, but that's okay. Hmm, 
So basically, you have to uh, play these levels a few times to get the, um, the reach of the goal, to clear it within the S rank time, which in this case it would have been 43 seconds, to get a uh, set number of rings, and then to find all the red star rings. For anyone who was um, wondering if this game is like um, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, it's not. This is much closer to a Mario Odyssey where each world is like its own self-contained biosphere, to use an overused term, I guess. This is not one big continuous world, it's in fact separate worlds, and you can't even travel between them, to my knowledge. You cannot go back and forth at will. You play through a world, you move on to the next. Tails? Amy? Oh. Well, yeah, to go back to, like, the, um, the only one who made it out of that. weird old difficulty Whatever spikes is that, um, Whew. in the third world in particular. Mortal. Mortal? Uh, hello? You have done the impossible. You have escaped cyberspace through your own power. You are the key. Key, huh? Sure beats being called a rodent. Are you saying I can rescue my friends? Find the Chaos Emeralds. Destroy the Titans. Tear down the walls between dimensions. Yeah, okay, sure. How about a little context? Hello? Nope. Wait, it's like uh, you have um, oh, well. Some direction is better like a pinball none. machine that you have Here to play, and you have to get like five million points. And if you lose a ball, your it resets your multiplier and makes it take really long. It's just not um. It is just, yeah, and there's also some, like, really needlessly strict time limitations on some of these other missions, where there really shouldn't be any time limitations to begin with, actually. It's just a case where, I mean, you can watch my playthrough if you want, but it's a case where there are missions that were needlessly difficult. And if you lower the difficulty rating to easy... If there, the time restrictions are more lenient, and like the multiplier in that uh, pinball machine goes up faster. Now this is how you unveil parts of the map. And you collect these things, and you can turn cashies in to upgrade your attack or defense. In the case of that red one, it's attack. Although realistically, it takes a lot of those to add up. The game is also very handholdy about these um, training missions, training stuff at the beginning. This blue stuff gets you uh, the ability to upgrade skill points. Get skill points to upgrade abilities, I mean. That is a memory. Use that to progress through the story missions. To unlock them, I guess I should say. Yep, Sonic can punch and kick just like in uh, Smash Brothers. I guess this game has more in common with like uh what was that story mode in Smash Brothers than it does a traditional Sonic game almost in that regard.
is a boss, a mini boss fight. You need to. You need to fight these in order to gain the cards to access more of those on um, cyberspace levels. When you get hit, you don't lose all of your rings, you lose some amount of them. The rings are basically literally your health. Rings. Portal. Gear. Yeah, I'm just going to show you about a half an hour of this game, hopefully, and you'll see uh, what I mean when it comes to, like, the visuals, at least. I think it's a good-looking game. I like, uh, groundbreaking in any one particular area. It's just, just has a nice aesthetic to it, I think. The defense upgrade thing. Sure does love homing in on stuff when you hit the attack button. This is actually a puzzle, not a group of enemies. button here and just to see if there's like another there we go can learn thing that allows you to actually summon uh, coins more or less at will by hitting Y and making leaps in the ground. This is also an important piece in uh, many of the um, puzzle solving elements, particularly to unveil reveal parts of the map. You gotta do this to each one of these things. Unveils more of the map, gets you an upgrade item, and it also usually um, opens up some additional world traversal mechanisms, such as this rail, for example. In general, it's a good idea to get as many of these things as you can, because if you can get all of them, you'll actually access the ability to, um, to fast travel. And that's pretty darn useful. Not an open world game, but still a very large environment that becomes a hassle to try to traverse the old fashioned way. You can just fast travel. It's a lot easier. Trust me. 
it's worth it. I did that by hitting the left analog stick and it just follows the path of the rings. Don't worry, you get more than enough of uh, those blue things in order to get all the um, abilities on the skill list there. Although not all of them are useful. the camera the camera changed abruptly on me and it prevented me from getting that so that's what happens when you die I guess it says try again there are no lives in this Sonic got rid of the concept of lives quite some time ago One other good thing about the um, whole revealing more of the map is that it almost always reveals the location of the next um, map revealing spot, which in this case is here. Here's another cyberspace level, which is basically like an old school two, an old school 3D Return Sonic game level. The digital dimension again. There's actually a story reason for why it looks like levels out of Sonic's past. Use that gear to bridge the gap between. Right. I'll get to it. I just wanna. Some of the stuff I may have missed the first time. These things are important. You do the loop around them like that, you often get stuff like these memories or upgrade tokens, cogs, lots of stuff. Actually. Need one more. And I have to go defeat it another bad guy. Be this guy. The tower. He's actually not as difficult as he looks. So I say that plane is uneasy now. Now he's down to ground level, I can attack him directly.
Yeah, and what you do is you enter Return these levels to, to get space. keys. And you use the keys to unlock the Chaos Emeralds. You'll see these same animations over and over again throughout the course of this game. And you'll have the option to skip them, but you have to skip each one. I'm showing it now because I want to show off the visuals of this game. Got these little training sequence masking what the little bit of loading times this game has. I imagine they're much more meaningful in like the base Xbox One, PS4, or PS4 Pro and Series X. This game has some pretty good music. This is clearly, um, what do you call it, um, Sonic, uh, 3's Sky Level that I can not, that for some reason I can't remember the name of, for some reason. <laughs> Sky Sanctuary? Yeah, there it is. I remembered it eventually. If obviously if I had uh, done it faster, I would have gotten all four of them here. But another thing is that you never need to get all of the uh, keys from these things. I find that getting three of them is enough. And the time requirements on the S rank are were more than why were stricter than I was willing to put in the time and effort to actually accomplish most of the time. You can actually find keys out in the environment. Including those blue treasure chest spots. It's the first Chaos Emerald. You need to get seven of them in each world in order to um, advance. I'll go collect this emerald and then hopefully speak to Amy. Spoiler, that's who's gonna be that's who's trapped in this world. And yeah, um and I'll probably just call it a video at that point. Hopefully I can get back to putting these videos out on a regular basis. These little things are cocos. You return them to the elder coco, and it'll give you uh, upgrades to either your speed or your maximum ring amount, which is your health. You like to hang out in spots. That right there is a big enemy that can give you another cog. Yeah, let's get to see your Chaos Emerald. It's the blue one. Blue like Sonic.
Yeah, this is a good game. You just need to set the difficulty to easy. I still have yet to figure out where it's going to rank in these six new games I played last year list. Um, it started out pretty high at number three. Then I was thinking it should go all the way down to six. Now I'm not sure. But hopefully I can figure that out. This game does also suffer from some pretty serious pop-in. And also the 30 FPS mode, uh, which is the only one that actually runs in 4K, generally doesn't work well. It's got some, um, what do you call it, um, uneven frame, frame pacing. I'd recommend watching the Digital Foundry video on this. Here's another piece of the map. Is Amy actually a hedgehog? I'm not sure. You'll see enemies pop up that attempt to get in your way. I like to avoid them if I can. Amy, is that you? Hello? Is this cyberspace girl? Hey, there? Help me! Hang on. Maybe messing with the ruins will fix things. Now I've collected enough of these things. Amy's free, but she's still trapped in cyberspace. Sonic, are you all right? Me? You're the one who's only half here. I feel fine, but that energy that was holding me prisoner went into you. Eh, I've been infused with weird zappy stuff before. Besides, I feel like it gave me some kind of boost. Well, in that case, we need to get moving. If I was trapped, I'm sure Tails was too. Good call. I'll scout around and find you later. Deal? Deal. Be careful. Careful? Where's the fun in that? Yeah, Sonic doesn't strike me as the careful kind. You are the key. Be empowered with this technique. Yeah. You are the one. What are these cocos? Right there is another cyberspace level. Here's another um here's a uh, another thing to unveil more of the map. I'm sorry, the cyberspace level's right there. Here's uh, an example of one of the puzzles. They do get more complicated than this. But yeah, that's um those are generally the easier ones. So yeah, that's going to pretty much do it for this here video, folks. I hope this gave you an idea as to whether this game is interesting to you, whether it looks good. Um, but before I go, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. I appreciate when people take time out of their video day to watch my streams and videos, whether it be live or even in archive form. Just as a quick reminder, I do a stream almost every day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Wednesday through Sunday, notwithstanding when I'm unable to for whatever reason. And I do 4K and or HDR uploads like this on Fridays. Although I tend to record them earlier in the week and schedule them to be published. Well, yeah, that's going to do it for Sonic uh, Frontiers. Uh, thank you for watching. And until next time... Take it easy.